Life Force. The 1980s classic that oof, still gives me some chills up my spine every time I watch it. Now mind you, this was done in the 80s, but obviously this was written by the, by the uh, man who actually writ wrote the movie that became Alien. So, it's terrifying, obviously. The movie's simplistic in itself. A, sp a joint U.S.-British space crew sent out to then to explore Haley's Comet is, a con is confronted by an alien spaceship and three surviving space vampires, which was actually the, um, the title of the, the original title of this movie. Commander, come in. This is Churchill. Do you copy? You seem to be in some sort of suspended animation or sleep. Yeah. This is Churchill. We have no picture. Come in, Tom. Churchill. I said we found a young girl. Girl? You mean human? Definitely humanoid. I'd say she's perfect. I've been in space for six months, and she looks perfect to me. Now, obviously you may recognize the music, because it's been played I don't know how many times on NFL um, films, but the terrifying reality of it... Oh, man. Why are you so human? So perfect. What are the bird creatures on the ship? Our bodies are unimportant. As you and your men have approached in your ship, we changed them for you. We entered your minds and found their new bodies. I took my shape from your mind. I took your language. I became the woman I found there. In your deepest thoughts, your deepest needs. I am the feminine in your mind, Carlson. Where are you? Where's your body? Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Vampires, they look good, they look handsome, but they're pretty destructive. I'm here. Now can this madness end? Come. Be with me. I need you. It was always intended. You should find us. And bring us to Earth. The web of destiny carries your blood and soul back to the genesis of my life form. Come. Be with me. Come with me, Carlson. Not to mention the woman vampire. Now, you may recognize a few of the people who are actually in this movie. Guys like, like Steve Rasselback, Colin Firth, Melinda May, who plays the um, space girl. And should I even use the word young? Because he looks the same. Obviously, I'm talking about Patrick Stewart before he became John Luke Picard on Star Trek The Next Generation. He's in solitary confinement. He's been naughty. But this film, if you look at it now, uh, compared to all the other horror films of the day, this one is incredibly terrifying. It'll be much less terrifying if you just come to me. I'll do just that.
the special visual effects, the um, the storyline, and the impending danger of of havoc raging through the world for energy suckers is running around the planet. Now, if you see this now, you may think, okay, this is crazy, this is impossible, this is unbelievable. But trust me, five minutes with this movie, you'll be terrified too. Trust me.